Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 badass Mark Wahlberg movie moments. For this list, we'll be looking at any moment or scene that proved this actor was one of the coolest in the business. From all-out brawls to epic speeches, we singled out the very best of the actor's many badass film moments. Just to be safe, there's a spoiler warning for the movies ahead. Did we forget one of your favorite Mark Wahlberg moments? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Papali scores a touchdown. Invincible. Check slow, check slow. What? what did he call? It appears the Eagles are calling a last second audible. Changing the play. Playing real life football player Vince Papali, Wahlberg spends Invincible trying to prove himself as an amateur on the Philadelphia Eagles. During a game against the Giants, the former bartender recovers a fumble for his team. Fumble! Come on, Vince. Come on, Motivated, Wahlberg flies down the field in a run that's nothing short of epic. His dramatic strides go into slow motion, making the actor look as awesome as possible in the process. Scoring a touchdown, Papali gets a win for the Eagles and proves his worth on the team. This moment feels even more impactful considering the lengthy journey the character took to get there. If this scene doesn't make you believe in the power of sheer will, we don't know what will. Number 9. Mini Cooper Getaway – The Italian Job Stay right on me, this is gonna be tight! In the remake of the classic heist film, Wahlberg plays point man Charlie, hoping to avenge his fallen friend. The team's climactic getaway in Mini Coopers, with Charlie taking the lead, is a fun and well-orchestrated set piece through Los Angeles. Driving through tunnels, the team of robbers outrun a pair of motorcycles out to catch them. Here we go! Even when Charlie gets chased down by a helicopter, he executes a number of high-stakes maneuvers that help him outsmart his pursuers. In the end, Charlie steers through even the most dangerous turns with a determined and courageous focus. Always one step ahead, Wahlberg steers this Italian job scene into classic badass territory. Number 8. Making It Rain. Two Guns. Hola. Looks like you had a bear in the morning. You better have my money. Right here, every penny. With Wahlberg and Denzel Washington sharing the screen, the entertaining Two Guns has more than enough awesomeness for one film. After a convoluted plot of double crosses and schemes, the two leads booby trap a bundle of cash meant for the villains. When the cash explodes, the actors make it rain bullets and dollar bills. It's a good plan. Make it rain. In the chaos of the moment, Wahlberg spins around back to back with his partner as they shoot people in slow motion. Adjusting on the fly, the actor turns into a crack shot in seconds flat. For an action scene, there's not much more you could want than two badass stars in full beast mode. Go ahead, I'm right behind you. Don't miss. I never miss. Told you. Number 7. Mountain Assaults. Lone Survivor. Among Wahlberg's most powerful films, Lone Survivor depicts a brave and tragic story about four Navy SEALs in Afghanistan. Playing real-life SEAL Marcus Luttrell, Wahlberg depicts the elite warrior in a fight for his life alongside his fellow squad members. What you doing, Marcus? Marcus losing, Marcus losing. Ambushed on a mountain, Luttrell is the last man left from his team after an intense firefight. 
After falling down a cliff and suffering numerous injuries, Luttrell still manages to drag himself to safety. Even when he's seemingly down for the count, the soldier's relentless spirit and loyalty to his fallen comrades keeps him going. As heroic as Wahlberg's ever looked on screen, the badass actor lends a degree of fierce intensity to this unforgettable action scene. Number 6. Betting it all on black. The Gambler. You gonna play? It's the only way I can pay you both. You can't take the money off me in here and neither can he. Red or black, all or nothing, all the money down, that's all I'll do. Move. Compulsive gambler and professor Jim Bennett is one of the more intellectual heroes in Wahlberg's filmography. After a bet pays off, Jim takes his money to an underground gambling den. Harboring near inescapable gambling debts, the professor makes the roulette spin of a lifetime. All on black. Betting all he has on black, Wahlberg's cool and calm persona carries him nearly silent through a high-stakes scene. Putting stacks of cash onto a table, the man knows that this decision could cost him more than his life savings. When he wins, Jim plays it cool, knowing his debts are gone forever. I was playing for Mr. Lee and for that gentleman over there. I'm not actually a gambler. In the end, Wahlberg sells his badass image hardly lifting a finger. Number 5. Bobby Knocks Out Sweet, Four Brothers Who's gonna take on the champ? You, Charlie? In Four Brothers, Bobby Mercer and his vigilante brothers track down the mobsters responsible for their adoptive mother's death. Confronting mob boss Victor Sweet on a frozen lake, Bobby emerges from the distance like a force of nature. With nothing but pure swagger, Wahlberg never lets his guard down nor shows any sign of weakness. In the ensuing fight, Bobby uppercuts Sweet in a knockout. <laughs> To top it all off, Bobby walks away like it was nothing. In another victory for Wahlberg, he showcases a combination of cool and badass that's rarely seen in such a satisfying way. This is what we're gonna do about the police. Police? Cops love the mercies, Jerry. Number 4. Blowing up the Lodge. Shooter. They requested you. With Wahlberg playing skilled sniper Bob Lee Swagger, Shooter lets him unleash his purest action hero performance. Framed for an assassination, the title character spends most of the runtime hunting down the people that framed him. In the final scene, Swagger shoots his betrayers and blows up their lodge. For fans of skillfully executed action, the scene begins ominously as the off-screen hero fires several deadly shots into the building. After all that, the protagonist is far from finished. He still has time to walk in slow motion as the place goes up in flames behind him. As they say, cool guys don't look at explosions. Number 3. Sliding across the table. The other guys. Gentlemen, you're here illegally and without a warrant. We are within our rights to take action. For the majority of the other guys, Wahlberg's character wishes he could be badass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a restricted area. Finally, I pulled my gun. Pulled the deadly weapon and started running. Don't make me shoot. I'll do it. Are you deaf? You hear me? You'll freeze? You dick. I'm Derek Jeter. You shot me. Relegated to a desk job after accidentally shooting Derek Jeter, Terry finds himself stuck with straight-laced partner Alan. Thankfully for the detective, he finally gets his chance when an all-out gun battle happens in a crowded conference room. When shooting breaks out, Terry sees an opportunity to show off his improvisational skills. As bullets whiz by, the detective escapes by sliding across the conference table with a gun in each hand. Shooting people on either side of him, he finally gets his huge action hero moment as he glides in slow motion. Number 2. Mickey Wins the Fight, The Fighter This is really one of the, the saddest kinds of fights in boxing. 
Mickey Ward is 31 years old. He's here because he needs the money. He's taken a beating. As real-life boxer Mickey Ward, Wahlberg channeled his Massachusetts roots to play the down-on-his-luck Ward in The Fighter. Though the final fight has him go more beast mode, this one's got the mic drop moment. Hungry to finally prove himself, the boxer busts out a signature move on his opponent. In a split-second decision, Mickey pulls off a kidney shot that delivers a knockout. Not only is it a triumph for the fighter and his family, but the badass moment proves Wahlberg can fight with the best of them, performing his own stunts. It's fair to say that after watching this movie, you'd never want to end up in the ring with Wahlberg for real. Hey, you never know what can happen, right? You never give up in this game, right? You never give up. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Motivational speech, pain and gain. Wahlberg goes from bodybuilder to corrupt entrepreneur after attending a motivational seminar. I'm, I'm a doer. What is this, Valentine's Day? Say it like you want to hunt it, skin it, and mount his head on your wall. I'm a doer. What? I'm a doer. Yeah! I'm a doer. Let me in the house. Fear. Wahlberg's menacing villain terrorizes a family and demands to be let inside their home. It all could have been different, Mr. Walker. You should have allowed nature to take its course. In the end, it will anyway. So let me in the house! Midair fight. Infinite. Wahlberg's immortal badass fights and stabs the villain in midair before hitting the water. <laughs> Don't mess with Chris. Contraband. When his family is threatened, Wahlberg beats and points a gun at the man responsible. I'll come asking your wife for it, your kid. <laughs> Jumping off the rig, Deepwater Horizon. Depicting a real-life tragedy, Wahlberg heroically leaps off a platform to escape danger. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dignum Gets His Revenge – The Departed As Sergeant Dignum, Mark Wahlberg plays a loudmouth Boston cop that always speaks his mind. I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. As the treacherous mob informant Sullivan believes he's home free, he returns to his apartment to find Dignum inside. Seeking revenge for his fallen colleagues, Dignum shoots Sullivan and flees the building. Okay. Leave it to Wahlberg to always get the last laugh, ensuring that no sin goes unpunished. In a brief, intense scene, the actor conveys so much machismo without needing to say a word. Capping off an Oscar-nominated performance, there's no more badass moment in Wahlberg's career than the conclusion of The Departed. Blow me, all right? Not literally, though. Unfortunately, there's no promotion involved for you. I'm pricking. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.